This program will demonstrate injecting insulin. The goal is to inject the insulin into the subcutaneous tissue between the top layer of the skin, the dermis, and the underlying muscle layer. The only concentration of insulin available in the United States is 100 units per milliliter. A milliliter is equal to a cubic centimeter. All insulin syringes are graduated to match this concentration. Insulin syringes are available in various volumes. For example, 310 cc, which would hold a maximum dose of 30 units. 1 half cc, to hold a maximum dose of 50 units. And 1 cc, to hold a maximum dose of 100 units. Some insulins are cloudy suspensions. To ensure uniform dispersion of the insulin in the cloudy suspension, roll the vial gently between your hands. Avoid vigorous shaking, which will produce air bubbles or foam, and interfere with obtaining the accurate dose. Wipe off the top of the bottle with an alcohol swab. Discard the swab. Pick up the syringe and remove the needle cap. With the syringe held upright, pull the plunger back until the end of the plunger is at the mark of your dose, which in this example is 20 units. There is now air in the syringe. Check the insulin bottle to ensure you have the correct type of insulin. With the insulin bottle held firmly on a counter or tabletop, Insert the needle through the rubber cap into the bottle. Push the plunger down so that the air goes from the syringe into the bottle. Turn the bottle upside down so that the air in it is at the top. With the tip of the needle kept in the liquid, hold the plunger back to your dose. If any air bubbles are in the syringe, push the plunger back in and drop the dose again. Remove the syringe and needle from the bottle. Do not let the needle touch anything else before it touches your skin for the injection. Wipe the skin of the chosen injection site with an alcohol swab and let the skin dry. Pinch up the skin and put the needle fulling through the skin at an 80 to 90 degree angle and push the plunger down completely. Discard the syringe and attach needle into a puncture-proof container and replace the container's screw cap. Instead of a puncture-proof container, you can purchase a special sharps container with a hinge lid to store the used syringes and needles. When your storage or sharps container is three-quarters full, dispose of it according to the policies of your local authorities. The recommended sites for insulin injections are shown. Change the place of each injection by moving a couple of inches from the previous site. By doing this, you can stay in one general area for several days.